Hi friends, in the previous video, we understand the AI agent framework concepts at a very high level, right? In summary, the AI agents are similar to human workforce. They think, reason and understand, take action using LLMs similar to how a human brain works and similar to how a human has skills, AI agents, they use tools to achieve the tasks and to the agent system we provide either the overall objective or a more granular tasks so the agents which are central uses these three sets of tools slash uh, capabilities to achieve its objectives okay we also looked at one uh, example uh, to understand the concepts. For example, writing a blog post uh, on some cutting edge technology. So we break the task uh, into two tasks and we have, we conceptually thought about two agents. Uh, one is researcher, the other one is writer. The researcher gather the information, writer write the blog post in an easy to understand manner. And we need tools for the web search. Uh, for example, DuckDuckGo. And we also, uh, 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 discussed about the archive tool which extract uh, the scientific uh, research information right and for the brain we have uh, the LLMs from OpenAI and many others right so this is the solution design now let's see how we implement this using crew AI okay all right so you can inst uh, we also need lang chain and for the tool we need this duck duck go search so you can install all three using a simple pip now from crew AI here we are importing agent, task and crew. So we are importing the agents and the tasks. The crew is simply putting all these four pieces of information together. The LLMs, the agents, tools and the tasks. Okay. Now we need LLMs. These LLMs we access either via OpenAI or uh, via uh, 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 local models. Okay. Now if we are using... Uh, open AI models uh, you can set your API key in this format uh, but the best practice is not to expose your key in the code itself I already have my key in my environmental variables okay if you don't have it there you can set uh, uh, here all right so let's work on these uh, LLM models so here from Langchain uh, we are uh, importing this chat open AI and here we are uh, accessing the model, right? So here we are uh, GPT 3.5 turbo and you can set uh, any uh, uh, configuration parameters like uh, temperature. Now, if we want to use uh, open source models locally, uh, that's quite easy to do. So we use this Olama, uh, which is again very super uh, simple to uh, install and uh, use. If you have any issues running these models locally, uh, let me know. But Olama has very clear uh, documentation and it's uh, super easy to follow, right? So simply uh, import Olama and then provide the model name. So when you do this the first time, uh, the model gets downloaded. So it might take a while. But once the model is downloaded from uh, next time onwards, uh, it is uh, ready to use. So the model gets loaded into your RAM. Uh, which is uh, enabled by this Olama. Okay. All right. So we have the LLMs also. And then we need to define this tool. All right. So from blank chain, here we are using this DuckDuckGo search. And here we have defined uh, the search tool. Now, when we discuss this conceptually, we have discussed about archive as well, which is, which, which can uh, which which host the research and the scientific paper but let's keep it simple uh, we don't want to make the blog complicated so let's create this new blog post uh, just based on the web search results without going into scientific papers okay so we are not making use of this archive tool all right okay uh, now let's start uh, defining the agent so we are going to have two agents the researcher and the writer researcher will have access to tools which is DuckDuckGo and both agents will have access to LLM that's uh, the minimum requirement right okay so here we are defining an agent which is called this researcher 
and we set a bunch of uh, variables uh, for the uh, we define basically define the agent so the role it's a senior researcher analyst now we define a very high level goal so undercover cutting edge uh, developments in ai research data science so and so forth we can make it more generic as well now this backstory uh you can make it elaborative this is basically giving a persona to the agent so that it better it better understand what it's supposed to do it's aware of uh, uh, what is the expectation from it uh, etc right so the back story here is you work at a leading tech think tank uh, your expertise lies in identifying emerging trends you have a knack for dissecting complex data and presenting actionable insights okay so that's what the research analyst uh, do at a company right as we discussed ai agents are simply the digital workforce all right uh, verbos this is just to see uh, see the output now this one is important this allow delegation right so here we are going to have multiple agents now an agent whether it can assign a task to another agent uh, is determined by if it can allow delegation so the researcher agent uh, it's not going to uh, assign the work uh, to the writer agent so the flow is like this right so once the researcher agent uh, completes its task it get uh, the writer agent get notified by the framework uh, with the output from the researcher agent now the writer agent does its job if the writer agent think that it does not have sufficient information to write a blog post then the writer agent can go back to researcher agent hey i want more input so can you go and do some more search and extract some more information so the writer agent will have the delegation authority but the researcher agent will not have so that's what we are trying to do so the researcher agent it cannot allow delegation and then to an agent we need to supply the tools right so in this case we are defining only one tool which is this duck duck uh, go search all right so here we have supplied the tool and then finally to an agent we need to supply an llm model as well so here we are supplying this llm model which is open ai llm now as i mentioned if you want to use open source models running locally you can make use of olama just define that model and supply that model uh, 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 in this variable all right now let's define uh, the second agent which is the writer agent so the writer agent its role is tech content strategist okay now its goal is to craft compelling content on tech advancements and the back story again uh, i'm not going to read it but as you understand it needs to write this uh, uh, insightful engagement engage engaging uh, blog posts now the main difference here is allow delegation true so as i mentioned if the writer agent think it don't have sufficient information to write uh, a blog post it can go back to researcher agent and ask for more information so that's why we are enabling uh, the delegation okay all right so we have llms we have agents we have defined the uh, uh, sorry we have the tools we define the agents we connected the tools to the agents and finally we need to define the tasks and we need to put these all pieces together which is called crew in this crew ai framework all right so task 1 sorry we here we are defining a task uh, this is for the uh, researcher so here we are sim- saying the task description simply hey conduct a comprehensive analysis of the latest advancements in ai in 2024 so identify the trends breakthrough technologies so and so forth etc right so here is our uh, description of the tasks now who should do this task here we provide the agent so the researcher agent should sub, uh, should do this task now we have other frameworks like autogen from microsoft where the agents themselves decide which task to pick up or we might have a supervisor agent which decide which tasks to assign to which agent whereas in this framework we explicitly define the tasks and assign them to the agents okay and the final task is writing that blog post right so using the insight provided so these insights will be provided by the researcher agent now developing an engaging blog post so and so forth so you can read that later and the agent is writer agent okay so he- here we have the two tasks as well and we have all the pieces we needed now we put them together and execute 
So here we are defining the crew. So crew is simply the agents and the tasks. So the agent, we have researcher agent, writer agent, and then we have the tasks, task one and task two. So here by default, it will execute this sequential process. So it will start with whichever the task is here. After completing that output is supplied to the agent, whichever is doing the task two, right? So it is going in this sequential manner. Now the verbose just to see the output. Now, as you remember, the tools are already provided to the agents when the agents are defined. Okay. So here, for example, the researcher agent, we supplied the web search tool. Whereas for the writer agent, we don't need any additional tool because it is simply synthesizing the text. Uh, so the LLM brain is already enough. All right. So we put the crew together and then we simply run the crew or kick off the crew. Okay. That's it. So if you look at the output, now, so here is starting a chain. Uh, do I need to use a tool? Yes, I need to use, oh, sorry, uh, let's start from here. Uh, so it start with the senior researcher analyst, right? And then uh, the starting task, so the conductive comprehensive analysis of AI trend, so and so forth in uh, AI. So there is an agent, it has a task. Now the agent is thinking, do I need to use a tool? Yes, I need to use a tool. What tool I have access to? Duck, duck search. Even if it has, let's say, multiple tools, the agent will be able to figure out which is the right tool. Okay, even though we supplied only one tool here. All right. Now, the input, uh, uh, the action is latest advancement in AI. So it goes to the web and it try to collect as much information as it can, depending on the configuration variable, so and so forth. All right. So it has collected some information, uh, blah, 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 blah. And then it has synthesized uh, the information uh, in these these bullet points right all right and then the task output so the based on my research there are see several key trends in the advancements of AI so this is the research agent output right so these are the key insight the researcher uh, agent has figure found out right so there are these 10 uh, insights and then uh, it wrote uh, a conclusion as well now this information is provided to the writer agent here so let's see uh crew agent uh all right so now here we have uh, the content strategist right Th this is the name we gave content uh, strategist uh, as the name uh, we ga gave it to right tech content strategist okay so uh yeah so using the insights provided now you develop an engaging blog post okay so it took all that information, it has created uh, this blog post, which is minimum some four paragraphs, so blah, blah, blah. Uh, these are the paragraphs. These are the intermediate steps. Remember this green, uh, the text produced in green is uh, the intermediate steps because we enable the verbose and uh, here it finished the chain and the final output or the blog is uh, this one. Okay, sorry. Uh, where is it? Yeah, so this is the block title AI in 2024 uh, Transforming Industries and Empowering People, and it should have minimum four paragraphs one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Okay, and finally, it has this uh, conclusion. Okay, um, very high level summary. We define two agent researcher writer, we define some tools, duck, duck, go search, we define some LLMs to the researcher agent and writer agent we supplied uh, the same LLM, but it need not be. And to the researcher agent, we supplied a tool, this DuckDuckGo search, and then we defined two tasks, we assigned them to each agent. Uh, the researcher agent collected the information, the writer agent uh, uh, write the blog post. Okay. Uh, I hope uh, it's clear. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, as we... Uh, go into the next videos we will build more complex uh, uh, systems okay thank you very much